Hi kids! Welcome to our Sunday School time! And today we are going to learn about the story of Jesus and what he did in the temple. Ready na ba kayo? Okay, sige. Before we start, let's pray first. Lord, we thank you for this day that you have given to us. We pray that you would help us understand and apply our lesson for today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so let's stand up and let's stretch and we will have our song. Teachers, Hi kids! For our first song, we are going to sing Nothing But The Blood. So, we will have actions for this song. So, follow along with teachers, okay? So, let's all stand up and get ready to sing for the Lord. Okay? Music, please. Bible story time again. This story happened when King Jesus was inside Jerusalem a few days before the Passover. Have you heard? What? That the temple was cleansed. Aha! I know where this story is going. The time for the feast of the Passover is getting close. A crowd of people will surely flood the temple to give their offerings and worship God. Yep, that's right. The temple guards knew that there will be thousands of Jews coming in. So they <laughs> brought out their mops, sunrocks, and cloths for wiping. Then, by the gate, our priests with alcohol to spray everyone that comes in to prevent COVID-19, of course. What? What? No! That's far from what happened! COVID-19 spread in 2019. Well, our story happened in 33 AD. This means that they're 1,986 years apart. And one more thing. Do you know who cleansed the temple? It's none other than Jesus. And it was not because of viruses or dirt that Jesus had to cleanse the temple of Jerusalem. You see, this is what happened. Jesus entered into the temple with his disciples. But... 
when they got into the temple court, what do you think they saw? Well, obviously, since it's temple, I'm guessing there would be a lot of people praying. Mm, not exactly. What they saw were people buying and selling things. Instead of it being a house of prayer, why did it look like a marketplace? It really seemed like a market. Imagine, there's a table where they sell live animals. There's a table that sells doves. And from what I've heard, they're very expensive. And there's even a table for money exchange. They didn't respect the temple of God anymore. Jesus was not happy with what the people did in the temple. Remember that Jesus is the Son of God. And if anyone has the right to clean the house of God, it would be Jesus. Because of this, he shooed the sellers away and flipped their tables. Then, Jesus taught the people that the temple is a house of prayer. But they turned it into a den of thieves. Oh, Jesus cleaned the temple from these people. I think they forgot that the temple is a place to worship God. Good thing Jesus was there to teach them a lesson. After this happened, everyone was shocked. The blind and the crippled went to him because they knew about the power of Jesus. And many other people understood his authority. There were even children who still shouted, Hosanna, save us, to Jesus. During this time, the chief priests and scribes were not happy with all the praise Jesus got because they still didn't believe in him. We just heard about the story of Jesus in the Bible and how he cleansed the temple. I have with me a bag. I really like this bag because it's very cute and it's pink and I can put things inside. Ooh, do you want to see what's inside my bag? Okay, my bag is really nice. I want to keep it clean and nice. Oh, there. Oh, it's my cell phone. Hello? Wala. Okay, so I have my phone. I keep my phone in my bag. And I also have, what's this? It's my key! So I can go inside my house or into the office, everywhere. I have my key. Okay, I should keep my key in my bag always. So it won't get lost. Ano po ba? What else do I have in my bag? What? I have a banana peel in my bag? It sticks already a bag naman ito. Should I keep this in my bag? No, let's throw it out. There's a trash can there. Okay, next. Oh, there's one more thing in my bag. Let's see. What? It's a fish bone. How did that get in there? I have some trash in my bag. Now I have to clean it. Okay, I have to throw this fish bone wherever it came from. Okay, throwing. I don't want to put trash in my bag because I really like my bag and it's kind of new. So I don't want it to be stinky and dirty because this is my bag. Well, in our story, the temple is God's house. Did you know that during that time when the people were selling things, selling the sacrifice, they were not really helping in keeping the temple clean. Why? Because they were cheating other people, they were stealing money, they were doing bad things, they were lying. It was wrong for them to sell in the temple of the Lord. Because of their sin, the temple became dirty and Jesus became angry. 
it's activity time! For our activity, we are going to look at pictures from the temple. These pictures look exactly the same. But do you know that they have five differences? That's right! Can you help me spot the difference? That's great! Let's start! I can see a bird on the left picture. Can you find the bird? There it is! But on the right picture, there's no bird. That is our first item! Good job, kids! For our next item, let me see. There are two people praying. Can you find the two people praying? There! But the girl's eyes are opened. But on the other picture, her eyes are closed. That's our second one. The girl's eyes. Good job, kids! I can see a bag of money beside the girl. Can you find the bag of money beside the girl praying? There! But on the other picture, there's no bag of money. That's our third one. Wow! Good job! For our next one, let me see. I can see three clouds on the right picture. Can you see the three clouds outside? That's right! There it is! But there are only two on the left side. That's our fourth one! Good job, kids! For our last one, let's see. I can spot a lady wearing a yellow dress. Can you find the lady wearing a yellow dress? There, in the middle. But on the right photo, she's wearing green. That's our last difference. Good job, the lady's dress. Now we found all the differences. Good job, kids. I had fun. I hope you had fun too. Bye. When Jesus got to the temple, he was angry because of the sin there. It was dirty. So, you can see, let's try to flick out the tables from the market. Click. One more here. Click. And another one here. And there's one more here. Let's take it out. Okay. Jesus cleaned the temple from the sin of the people. Jesus had authority or he had power over it because he is God. And he did not want the temple of God to be dirty. He did many miracles. He healed the sick, he raised the dead, and many, many more. He also proved that he is God by rising again from the dead. When he died on the cross, when he died on the cross, he was buried, nilipin siya, and on the third day, you know what happened, right? He rose again from the dead, and he lives. The Bible teaches us that our body is the temple of God, but that's when we become Christians, we become his child. When we become saved, we have trusted that Jesus Christ is God, our Lord and our Savior. He is the only one that can save us from our sins. So, when we are saved, we have to keep our temple clean, which is our body. So let's take away those evil things. Can you see the heart? There are emojis in the heart. Let's take out those emojis. Can you point where the angry face is? There. Let's take away fighting. Because we don't want to fight our siblings or our mommies and daddies. Let's take away that sin. 
Next, can you find the blue face? There it is. Let's take away the blue face. The blue face is for lying. We should take away lying or not telling the truth. Have you lied in your life? We should take that out. Next, can you find the sad face? Yes, sad face is for being selfish. Selfishness is always thinking about ourselves before others, not even considering their feelings. Or it's like, mine, 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 mine only. Not sharing with your sister or your brother or your friends. Now kids, have you taken away the bad habits that are in our hearts? Let's keep our bodies clean because it is the temple of God. memory verse. At kasama ulit natin ngayon yung ating mga Have You Heard Bunnies. O maghilo na kayo sa mga bata. Hello mga bata! Ayan. Ngayon, tutulungan ulit nila tayo para mag-memorize ng ating verse. At ang ating verse na makikita sa Bible ay sa 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So, yun yung ating memory verse for this Sunday. Pero, iiklian natin para mas mabilis nating mamemorize ng ating verse. Tutulungan natin mga bata, ang gagawin natin ay iiklian natin to yung part ng verse 20 bilang yung ating imememorize. Yun yung, therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Okay ba yun sa inyo? Kayang-kaya ba yun? Kaya po! Kaya! Alam kong kayang-kaya nyo rin yun mga bata. Kaya ngayon, i-memorize na natin to at lalagyan natin ng actions. Okay ba yun sa inyo? Opo! Okay! Ngayon, buksan natin yung ating mga Bible. Yan, open your Bibles to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. Chapter 6. Chapter 6. Verse 20. Verse 20. Therefore, therefore, glorify God, glorify God in your body, in your body, and in your spirit, and in your spirit, which are God's, which are God's. Very good! Yay! Ang gagalin nyo. Pero ulitin pa natin ng isa pang beses para mas memorize pa natin, no? Mga, have you heard ba? Is okay po ba kayo dyan? Okay po yun. Okay. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Chapter six. Chapter six. Verse twenty. Verse twenty. Therefore. Therefore. Glorify God. Glorify God. In your body. In your body. And in your spirit. And in your spirit. Which are God's. Which are God. Yeah! Yay! Ang galing yung mga have, heard, have you heard bodies at ang gagaling yung mga bata. So next week ulit tayo ay magmememorize ng verse ha? Okay, paalam! Paalam! It's music time again! Okay, so let's all stand up if you're not already standing up. And we will sing if you're happy and you know it. Okay? Music, please. Happy. 
for little eyes. Music, please. Hi kids! Let's talk about the body parts God gave us. Okay, first, can you show me where your eyes are? Princess, where are your eyes? Very good. Children, can you blink your eyes together with our puppets? Okay, very good. And <laughs> Scottish boy. Can you show me where your clean ears are? There they are! How many ears does Scottish boy have? One, two! Very good! He has two ears. And now they have... Hmm, what's next? Can you show me where your mouths are? Where is your mouth? Your mouth is the one that you use to smile. Now, let us show them. Can you clap with your hands? Let's clap three times. Ready? Go! One, two, three, and many more claps! And now, for the last body part we're going to point this morning. Can you jump using your feet? Three, two, one, jump! God gave us different body parts for us to serve Him. We can take care of our eyes by watching good things like our online Sunday school and using our ears to listen to our parents and to the sharing of God's Word. We could also use our mouth in speaking good things. Do you use your mouth to speak good things to your friends or to your family? And most importantly, you can use your mouth to talk about God. And of course, we can use our hands and our feet to give God the glory and praise that He deserves. That's it! Good morning, kids! It's craft time! So for today's craft, we will be tracing this picture. Hmm, can you guess what is this picture? Okay. Now... I want you to get a marker or any colored markers you have there in your home. I choose the black marker or the black permanent marker to trace this picture, okay? You can ask your mom or anyone in your home to help you trace this picture. I started with the rectangle. And now, the line and the triangle inside the rectangle. Now, we will be drawing the windows of this picture. Now, can you guess what this picture is? Now that we are done, 
with the windows, we will trace now the cross inside the middle window. We've drawn a building! Yay! Good job! We will color it blue. We'll color its roof blue and also the windows. Hmm, this picture looks familiar. Can you guess what it is? This building is color blue. All blue. We will now color the cross brown. Good job! We're done coloring the building. You can also draw this building. Now, I want you to get a clean paper that is available in your home and get again your markers. I choose the color black and now we will draw the building. Let's start drawing a rectangle in the middle of the paper. Let's draw a line inside the rectangle. Draw it somewhere at the top of the rectangle. And now, draw a triangle at the top of the line. We will draw the windows of the building. Draw five windows. So start with the middle and then two at the sides of that middle window. And then draw the cross the middle window of the building. Once you're done, get again the color blue and start coloring the roof of the building. Once you're done with the roof, color the windows blue. We have five windows there. Yay! We're done coloring and drawing the building. Now, can you guess what is this building? Yes, it's our church. It's Berean Bible Baptist Church. Goodbye! So kids, did you have fun today? We hope you learned from our lesson. We learned that Jesus cleaned the temple from the sin that was there. We also learned that our body is the temple of God. But it can only be the temple of God if we are saved or we are His child. Okay? So, keep it clean! See you next week! Bye!